This news update is brought to you by... Say hello to Shanta. Shanta is an entertainer, but she also loves to be entertained, which is why she has Flow TV brought to her through Flow's 100% Fiber to the Home Network. It's great for busy Shanta because she can control the time she watches her favorite shows, play back from the start in case she missed it, or even record with cloud video recording. And with her Flow Services bundle, enjoys much more for much less. Visit any Flow retail outlet. Call 1-800-804-2994 or visit discoverflow.co to find out more. One of a kind connection. This is how we flow. Welcome to your Bobby Dust Today evening updates for Tuesday, July 5th. Uh, thanks for joining us. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. Our top story. Cabinet will soon make a final decision on the pending merger of the National Housing Corporation, the Rural Development Corporation, and the Urban Development Corporation. Just yesterday, the National Union of Public Workers met with NHC workers who raised concern about possible job losses. Speaking to reporters today, Finance Minister Chris Sinclair assured the government is not on a mission to dismember organizations and to scatter people all over the place, but it will be restructuring a number of entities to improve efficiency and deliver better service to the public. At the end of the day, you have to keep in mind what it is they were created to do, who it is they're supposed to serve, and how best that can be executed. And that's, that's what we are trying to do in the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Understanding and bearing in mind that there's a limit to what government can do uh, in terms of resources. Minister Sinclair says once a final decision is made, unions, workers and all other parties will be fully informed. He admits it's not an easy exercise, but the government has no choice but to act. We're saying, look, we, we have other entities that we can look at and we can, and we can get better out of them. We can get more out of them. And, and this restructuring process is important. Uh, we have to get companies to bring their audits and their financial reporting, up to date, the strategic plans, uh, you know, some of which have been dated, you have to bring those up to date. You have to engage the public in a different way because you're dealing with a different public. People are more demanding, their tastes are more sophisticated, the resources are limited, and perhaps even in some instances shrinking. How do you fit all of that within a new model of operation? Reinstatement and nothing else. Less. That's the wish of the President of the National Union of Public Workers, Akani McDowell, as the Employment Rights Tribunal pledges to deliver a ruling on the unfair dismissal case brought by NCC workers next week. McDowell tells Barbados today he's hoping the tribunal will deliver its verdict as promised, but he insists that compensation is not enough, particularly since the workers have been waiting for more than two years. The only position that I think that would be fair to those workers, having been gone, having gone through such a, a long period of suffering, would be that of reinstatement. I don't see any other move um, being credible. If we talk about compensation, you cannot, in my mind, compensate those workers for, for that type of suffering that they would have gone through. In addition, when you talk about compensation, compensation means that sometimes the money that they will receive will eventually end, and then after that ends, then what? What I would like for those workers is to have a job so that they can be continue to be paid, and so that they can pay their bills, and by extension pay their bills, their mortgage, and any other expenses that they may have. It's well known for lending a helping hand to the poor and needy, but now the Salvation Army has some needs of its own. Against the backdrop of declining support from corporate Barbados and members of the public, the Salvation Army says it's becoming harder to provide assistance to vulnerable groups. Today, as the organization provided a special meal to scores at its Reed Street office at pa as part of its week of activities, Divisional Commander Sinus Theodore says it's a big challenge, but they won't be throwing in the towel anytime soon. We are kind of getting less for whatever reason. Even on mid appeal last year, or Christmas appeal, it was not what we anticipated it to be. Although we are very grateful to Barbadians for their help, because they have been very helpful and they continue to do so, but we fall short. So we did not make up with our target, about 700,000. But we even got less than the previous year. It's still challenging. And those who used to give more, they lose their job. They give less. Or they don't give at all. 
Uh-huh. But but people are still willing to help us, and the government also, the the, the social de- the welfare department, they are on board. They still subsidize and support the program. So we say thanks. There's regional and international news after this short break. I love it. Hey, I'm Red Plastic Bag, mentor of the Barbados Today Crop Over Champion Competition. What I like about this competition is the fact that it gives you the public a voice in three major competitions for Crop Over. Pick the Crop, Junior Monarch, and Soka Royale. Go to Barbados Today's Facebook page, click on the tab for the competition you want to vote for, then hit vote on your favorite video. It's as simple as that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Special thanks to our sponsors, Flow, Capital Media HD, CGI, the Barbados Public Workers Cooperative Credit Union Limited, and the NCF. the region now, Jamaica's Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says his ministry is now monitoring 88 suspected cases of the Zika virus in pregnant women. He however insists that the number of confirmed cases in pregnant women remains at four. He said all the women are in their second trimester and are being closely monitored. The Zika virus has been linked to microcephaly, a birth defect where the baby's head is smaller than normal. Overall, Jamaica has 24 confirmed cases of the virus, but there are more than 2,100 suspected cases of the mosquito-borne illness. Further Phil, the director of the United States Federal Bureau of Investigations, James Comey, says he won't be recommending any charges against Hillary Clinton over her use of private email while serving as Secretary of State. This follows a probe which examined whether Clinton or AIDS had mishandled classified information either intentionally or in a grossly negligent way. And while the decision ends the legal uncertainty that has dogged Clinton's campaign, she did not escape without some criticism. The FBI director knocked the Democratic presidential candidate, saying she was careless with classified information. Although we did not find clear evidence that Secretary Clinton or her colleagues intended to violate laws governing the handling of classified information, there is evidence that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. For example, seven email chains concern matters that were classified at the top secret special access program at the time they were sent and received. Those chains involve Secretary Clinton both sending emails about those matters and receiving emails about those same matters. There is evidence to support a conclusion that any reasonable person in Secretary Clinton's position or in the position of those with whom she was corresponding about those matters should have known that an unclassified system was no place for that conversation. And that's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadistoday.bb. Also, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. We're also on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 99 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. Good evening.